no windows widgets no copilot cpu usage is around 4% it is consuming only 2.7 gb never miss this video if you want to speed up your windows or optimize your windows without breaking your windows because in this video i'm going to show you how you can speed up or optimize your windows for your gaming for your productivity because microsoft windows 10 or windows 11 comes with lots of bloatware apps and some extra services which continuously running in background and eating your resources in background okay so without talking too much let's get into the process we are going to use this win utility by Chris Titus Tech. After using this, you will definitely comment, yeah, this is really cool utility. I'm not just saying it, I'm going to show you the results also. Currently in task manager, in CPU usage, you can see it is using 22% or 174 processes. In memory usage, you can see it is using 4.8. Because Microsoft comes with lots of bloatware apps like uh, widgets or so many built-in apps, Copilot also, Microsoft Edge. And if you want to remove all this, this utility is going to help you. Now just go to this GitHub account and i will put this link in description so basically it is very easy to use just copy this command from here open powershell as administrator just right click to paste the command over here hit enter after that you will get here this beautiful interface we have here multiple section like install tweaks config updates and micro win let's understand one by one in install section if you want to install multiple apps or tools by checking all these tools and click on install and upgrade section so basically if you're it guy you are setting up multiple systems you want to install the same app so you can use this to install all the apps by just single click so here if you want to install uh, like brave browser so we have multiple options here age all the browsers here here in communication you can see teams slack skype signal whatever apps you want you can select here after selecting that just click on this install upgrade in background you can see it is installing so all the process is transparent you can see what is going in background it is using winget to install these apps this is really cool tool let's move to other parts if you want to upgrade all it is going to use winget which is a microsoft built-in tool it is going to upgrade all the apps which is available seven upgrades available if you want to uninstall selected so select all and uninstall it and get installed clear selection if you just want to clear all these things so this is just about installation section now just move to tweaks here you can see essential tweaks select here standard section in a standard all these are going to check so this is recommended if you have laptop you can enable hibernation so it is going to save your battery life if you want to debloat age i'm going to remove microsoft age from here okay so here you can see create restore point it is going to delete uh, all the temporary files disable consumer features so so all the ads are going to disable, disable telemetry, disable activity history. After that in advanced tweak you can see adobe network block and adobe debloat or disable ipv6 because we are not using it and disable background apps, disable full screen optimization, disable microsoft copilot. This is really cool. I am going to remove this microsoft copilot from my windows 11. Even if you have windows 10, in windows 10 microsoft copilot is also available. Just check this box, microsoft age or you can remove all microsoft restore apps. Set the classic right click menu set display for performance remove home and gallery from explorer remove one drive okay so run this tweak and in background you can see what is running okay so let it happen In PowerShell, you can see message tweaks are finished. We have run OO setup 10. So click on it. It is going to open this software like O and O setup 10 plus plus administrator. All these settings are vary from current user to local machines. We get here so many options related to privacy, disable and reset advertisement ID and then food, disable transmission for typing information. So basically what you have to do, just turn it on. Let it be default. If you want to do some other things, you can also turn it on and the recommended settings are enough to optimize your windows so let it be default in right side section you can see customize preferences dark theme windows turn it on num lock on and startup and uh, all these settings which are default uh, turn on let it be and and activate ultimate performance profile click on it and basically it is going to create the ultimate power plan type this command powercfg.cpl to open your power settings so here you can see it is selected ultimate performance if you are a gamer or want to perform higher tasks so create this power plan to get the best performance from your system if you want to remove it just click on this remove section so 
you have free hand to do all these things now just move to config section in config section you can see features like all dotnet frameworks hypervision legacy media and all these things if you want you can just check this box and install features here we have fixes setup auto login reset windows update reset network system corruption scan in the right side we have legacy windows panel like control panel network so if you want to open it in the right side you can see legacy windows control panel like click on it it will directly open from here so network connections so all things you are going to get from one place now move to update section in update section you have three options like default out of the box settings security recommended settings and disable all update if you want to disable all updates this is for you as you can see it is not recommended and let it be default this is the default setting that comes with windows no modifications are made and will remove any custom windows update settings go into micro win he added a new tool like micro win micro win features you can see remove telemetry and tracking first install by using user account not using microsoft account no internet required no bloatware app you will get so this is another way to create a custom iso so basically i like the tweak section and install section this is really cool and in config this is also great you can use this tweak section if you want to get the best performance from your system okay so i'm going to close it and restarting my system then check my system performance Now we have successfully restarted and right click you will get here classic old windows 10 context menu this is really cool and usable and now on taskbar you can see no search bar no windows widgets no copilot so open file explorer and nothing breaking here and now it is feels very fast because he just removed the animations also go into task manager now you can see cpu usage is around 4% and processes you can see 84 processes from 174 to 84 i hope you understand this is really good you can do a gaming on it you will get the best fps if you are a low-end system definitely you should try this utility let's move to memory section it is consuming only 2.7 gb earlier it was uh, using 5 gbs now you have successfully optimized speed up or deep your windows for free 